Hello and welcome to Jedi Jingle Maker. This is my YouTube channel where I make music with the gear I review. I hope you will subscribe to the channel so that you are notified as all new music and videos about gear come out like this guitar here. This is a Firefly FFST. Can you believe I bought this initial guitar? Not with all the mods I've done and we'll talk about that. But the initial guitar came in at about 180 bucks so that was not too expensive at all and it is made of ash wood which is very resonant and it's a great guitar weighs as much as a boat anchor but i'm willing to tolerate it for how much i love to play this thing i even like that headstock with this shape of body i am more of a fan of the telecaster shape with the telecaster for the fireflies but this i think looks quite good in this video we're going to talk about the concept that i had to work through to even purchase this gu this guitar the concept I had to work through to even purchase this guitar, which is, do I really want a relic guitar? Why would you get a relic guitar? That is the question that comes right to mind. And I had always thought I would never get that. Why would I buy a guitar that's already broken when I'm buying a new guitar? However, when I saw this, when I saw the fact that they were gonna have the ash wood grain penetrating through this very Jimi Hendrix-esque vibe and that it was this nard up a commitment to like the scratches and it, it it is just interesting and it's aged well as it's kind of like some of the whatever they had residue on it, it's kind of gotten rubbed off it looks even more vintage to me you can see it looks kind of dirty on the sides like they really did a good job i i cleaned up the pick guard i replaced a lot most of the hardware you can see this bridge here is it's still aged on the base plate. They actually aged all the hardware too, which was gnarly, but uh, I replaced the bridge saddles there. But yeah, why would you get one? And the reason is, I don't know. I think that's the whole answer. I don't know why you get one. I can try to tell you why I got one, but I guess the only reason, if there is a reason, but the motivation, better word for it, is that it's a beautiful, beautiful wood, ash wood. And this reminded me very much of like a Jimi Hendrix style white Stratocaster, which resonates very strongly with me. As you might tell, I like white Stratocasters. Um, yeah, I might have a little issue with that, but I love this one. And it just was the classic Strat shape. It had the HSS humbucker single single. The two single coils are eh, a little muddy, but they're okay. I haven't replaced them yet, but I replaced this with a actual ceramic pickup I got off of Amazon. There's a Chinese ceramic pickup that people seem to like, and I love it in this guitar. I really like the way it sounds. It's a little bit more crisp, and it was very inexpensive. It's like $15 or something, and I might try something different there, but that's what this guitar is. It's a mod platform, so I can just, yeah, swap another pickup in. I might go get, put a Seymour Duncan in there next. This bridge I put on heavy springs and I tightened it right down to the body. I put the trim screws for the claw up all the way into the body so that it would be completely locked down. And then I replaced these saddles that it had, which I didn't like at all. Those were the bent metal style with these roller saddles that work very, very well, brass saddles with rollers on them. I upgraded the knobs, which is nothing. I had to resolder some of the stuff inside the control cavity, but I kept the same components. That'll be the next thing I upgrade to replace all these components in here with better electronics, which is definitely something you want to do in all your guitars. Just get it fresh, get it good. Then replace that input jack with a you know, two clip style, the heavier, I forget the name of it, but the, the better input jack. So then the whole thing's connected through solidly. I'll do that at the same point. I probably upgrade all three of these pickups to something better. I'm thinking of maybe going with some some DiMarzios or some Seymour Duncans, so we'll, we'll have to see what I end up trying there. You could always also go with some a more active pickup and get like the USB charger through the pick guard. That's another option. This one was uh, wired for just the small, uh, or carved, routed for just the, the small pickup cavity, so it doesn't have a lot of space in there to work with. I was surprised. I probably would have routed out more to just reduce the weight if nothing else, but what a beautiful guitar. Also, look at the look at the heel, spoke wheel heel adjustment on this neck. That makes things so easy to adjust the neck. I've had to do a little bit of adjustment. I took this on a trip with me on an airplane. It functioned quite well, but it was very heavy. One thing that's notable on this is the, the finish on the neck. 
they age it so that it looks, it actually, you can feel it, it changes the texture a little bit, but it, it's cool. It, it makes it like a, you know, I don't know, like you can feel the relicking they did on it. That's for sure, you can see on the head, it looks like simulated damage or whatever. These are hip shot tuners, and you can see one's kind of twisted there. I need to definitely tighten that one up, but these are good tuners. These are 16 to ones. They're not my preferred one, but they're pretty good. You can see it has that special plate on the back, which gives it a little bit more access, a little bit more shreddable. I do like that. I think that's a good thing. And the other ones, they just kind of dip towards it, but they don't have that cutaway at the end. This makes it even more shreddable. I love the texture of this ash wood on the back. I think the relicking job is quite convincing and natural in some weird way. It's like the kind of thing you wouldn't even like maybe stand out at you too much. If you weren't looking at it, you just go, oh, that's a jacked guitar. But I mean, I love the way it looks. There's no reason for it is my point. There's just no reason for it other than I thought it was kind of cool. Now I've looked at some other relic guitars and I haven't seen one that appealed to me, but this one, this did it. That's all it took. So let me know, do you have a relic guitar? Have you considered one? Do you think it's the dumbest thing in the world to do? Because I think some people have strong opinions on the relicking. I found some of my friends were like uh, astounded that that could even be a thing. They were so offended by it. I look at it like it's the same way of like stonewashed jeans. You know, it's worn in a little bit. Now, if I bump this thing into the wall or I were to chip a piece out of it, do you think I would care? No, there's that beauty to it also. It's a, dam it's a guitar which is very hard to notice any damage on. The damage fits right in. It's already started to be damaged, theoretically, but it's not damaged at all. It still works, it plays like a dream. I've had to tap a little bit on the fret to, to get it level to where I want it, but other than that, and some neck adjustment, it's been a great guitar, so there it is. The Firefly FFST, one year review. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also leave a comment. Let us know what you think of this guitar or others, relic guitars. Thanks for watching. Jedi Jingle Maker.